and everybody was saying, like, don't come, don't come, he's dead, he's dead. And then we get there, and he looks dead. He looks, like, completely still, everything, and he's really, really high up. And then my mom really carefully notices that he tries to swallow, and it turns out he's alive when everybody else thought he was dead, and we got him down, and she caught him. And now he's in rehab, and he's right here. He's super lucky. Very, very lucky bird. What dad are going to do now is they're going to carefully pull the hook out and with pliers and cutters and stuff because it's tricky. You have to pull it out very carefully because it could injure him further and it could get caught and all this different stuff. So we're going to treat him okay, now. Is there a way to open the beak just a little yeah. bit? That's what I wanted. He's not hooked on top. Excellent. He's hanging from a power, power tower. Alright, alright. I'm gonna push the skin all the way on. It's gonna hurt, buddy. Well, maybe I can pop it off. Hang on. Can you see Bam? Come look over here next to Savannah. Savannah's beautiful. Do you have a scalpel so we Everyone can just pop that little dead. bit of lip? Use a scissor. Where's the scissor? Right here. Open the mouth again. Turn it towards me like you had it. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm hoping this is all on them. It's a tiny bit. Yep. Did that do it? No, it no. just pinched it. Maybe These you're scissors are sharp. These scissors yeah, are the, sharp. Another scissor. Maybe one down. I'm sorry, buddy. No. It's too tight. His skin is too tough. Just. But he's caught here. here. Hang on. Okay, this is gonna make a loud pop. Make sure to you ready? Throat, <clears throat> okay, so that's one. Poor baby. Yeah. I, know. I need a no, scalpel. I need a scalpel. I, need a I don't have a scalpel cut. right now. I, don't oh, have I a thought you had scalpel. I'm out of scalpel. Um, scalpels. You know what? I have a scalpel. Right here. This is the best scalpel in the world. You Easy want the button. hemostat? Nope. Okay. Sorry, buddy. It's just a little cut for now. One. Barb. You're down. Okay. This one's a little different. It's like surgery. I'm going to release it. See in his mouth? What's happening back there? It's the other barb. There's one all the way back there. Alright, that's dose. Now that he missed that. Sorry, buddy. I hate that you're in this predicament. Two barbs gone. Yes. This is like surgery. Okay, You're doing this really one good. is not a joke. Hmm. And I'm gonna push it through to the other side. Well, it's the one lodged in the back. Let's see where it's coming to. It's in his jawbone or whatever that little crease is. Uh, oh, there it go. Yeah. Is that it? It came out. There's a piece inside. No? It's just blood. Hang on. Hold it open. It's just a vein or a blood. It's a bl it's blood or. Blood. Oh wow! Awesome. All right. That just that one just like fell out. Are you filming? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I filmed the right. entire time. All right. So keep it going. Let's get all this line off of him. We're just trying to get the line off so that he's not going to be tangled anymore. Okay. You know what this stuff is? I, have to cut it. I think he already feels better. <clears throat> this is spider wire braided line. What is spider wire braided line? Uh, spider wire braided line is an extremely strong form of fishing line so that people can get hung in rocks and still pull their line out. I'm guessing that's the worst for birds. Yeah, because they can't get this stuff off once it's on them. It's like, it's like wrapping them in something that's stronger than steel but is so fine and and 
pliable. You can get it. See how it stands, or if it can stand. Oh, how do you feel? He's tired. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, buddy. He's a happy boy now. Oh, Watch buddy. your fingers. All right, you can stop filming. We'll give him some fluids and. So. And that's it.